Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever WWC Warzone live event. We're live here in Reno, Nevada, home to Shea Hoxton. My name, of course, is Matt Murdock, and I, for one, cannot wait for tonight's show. Matthias Gray said earlier tonight that every match will be a tournament match. Well, let's go ahead and look at the brackets. We have Cameron Cray and JT Allen starting us off in a no disqualification match. Winner takes on Noah Black. Shea Hawks and Jay Vegas, both from Nevada, will be going up one on one to see who the best Nevadian, Nevadian, however they want to say it is. Chris Proudfoot looks to take some revenge on the Masked Man in our main event tonight. The Masked Man has been giving Proudfoot hell since day one in WWC. The Proudfoot's lucky he might even be able to unmask the Masked Man, and well, we all think it's Sarasi. I guess we might be able to see tonight. Jimmy Starr, Christopher Aaron, winner takes on Apollyon in the next round. James Cross, Killian Red go one on one, as well as Jason Spade and Zach Smith, both of whom are fan favorites. It should be interesting to see who has advantage going into tonight. Oh, and speaking of the tournament, here's one of the members of our very first match for the tournament, Cameron Cray. JT Allen. I can't wait to step into the ring with him now that I know that he's a woman beater. Tonight, JT, WWC management has given you a public trial. I'm going to play your judge, your jury, and your executioner. So why don't you bring your little witness down here and let's get this over with for you. Hey Cameron. Yeah, up here Cameron. Don't worry. Your match with Alan is still on tonight and it's still a no disqualification match. Now. If I recall correctly, when your Twitter war with JT started, you kept talking about JT's funeral and him needing a casket. Let's take a look. So, as I said on the house show last week, you're going to be going one-on-one -on -one with JT Allen at WWC's first ever pay-per-view event. And it's going to be a casket match. JT is told to decide on his manager for tonight's no disqualification match. Who he picks will not only have a huge impact on tonight's match, it will also have an impact on the pay-per-view casket match if JT Allen wins tonight. That's because if JT Allen wins tonight, then the manager that he chooses will be the special guest referee for the casket match. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry, Cameron. I haven't forgotten about you. If you win tonight, then the special guest referee for the casket match will be none other than Reno Zone, Shay Hoxton. So, JT Allen, I know you're back there watching. I hope that you can trust whoever you pick tonight more than you trusted Rose. After all, if, you lo if he loses, rather if you lose, then your manager is fired.
Looks like Alan was smart to trust Vegas after all. What? What is Vegas doing? He's gonna seriously injure Cray that way. What a victory. Cameron Cray just defeated JT Allen with the help of Shay Hoxton, of course. It looks like Shay Hoxton will now be the special guest referee for JT Allen and Cameron Cray's casket match at WWC's first ever pay-per-view event. And not only that, but Jay Vegas is now fired from WWC.